Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. Tonight, a Buffalo community is remembering a beloved man who brought families together. 88-year-old Lee Smith just recently passed away. He was the man behind Lee's Barbecue, a staple in the Maston District. Our reporter, Jocelyn Person, has a story tonight. Lee was very young when he started this business 58 years ago. And uh, as you know, he was one of the longest standing, if this was the, he was the oldest black business in this community. The brother-in-law of 88-year-old Lee Smith says Lee was known for more than just his famous barbecue. He owned the barbecue place, which is right here, uh, Lee's Bar, which was here, and that car wash over there, and several other houses on this block. So this was really known as Lee's Block. Oh, the food was great. <laughs> yeah, Lee's has the best barbecue in town. I know I have relatives in the falls, and they would say, Mike, we got to come over here to Lee's. You know, they would come over from all around to come to get to Lee's barbecue. Lee passed away Tuesday at his home, but his legacy lives on. He had a special sauce, and right now in the day, you can't get that sauce. You know, you can't get that sauce. I don't care where you go. It was the sauce that he had. Many are saying that Lee inspired the upcoming generation. He not only left the food legacy and his other businesses behind, but he was such a great businessman. It was really inspiration to me as a young businessman. And I went on to open my insurance agency and a lot of the principles that he talked about being in business was really truly and profound. Towns and others say Lee's takeout barbecue restaurant, along with his vibrant inspiration, will continue. He knew how to make some money <laughs> selling their barbecue. Thank you. In the words of Lee, that Lee would really like to thank the community for all the 58 years of success that he had because it was really the community that made him the man that he is. In Buffalo, Jocelyn Person, 7 Eyewitness News.